Lithium ion batteries are one of the most widely used secondary battery systems in the world today. Compared to other rechargeable batteries, such as nickel cadmium and nickel metal hybrid batteries, lithium ion batteries feature higher energy densities, higher operating voltages, limited self discharging, and lower maintenance requirements. However, the battery technology has a major flaw. Its current commercial graphite anode can't meet the increasing demand on energy density, operational reliability, and system integration that arises from lengthy portable electronic devices, longer range electric vehicles, and increasing energy storage applications. On the other hand, silicon has been researched immensely as a high performance alternative to these graphite anodes. Does silicon's enormous storage capacity give it a decisive advantage over the materials used in commercially available lithium ion batteries? Lithium ion batteries are composed of three main parts, an anode, a cathode, and a lithium salt dissolved in an organic solvent. The organic solvent provides the medium for lithium ion transport. Lithium ions move from the anode to the cathode during discharge and are intercalated or inserted into open spaces in voids found throughout the cathode. The lithium ions make the reverse journey during charging. A lithium ion battery or battery pack is made from one or more individual cells packaged together with their associated protective electronics. The anode or negative electrode in lithium ion batteries are typically made up of graphite and coated in copper foil. Graphite is a crystalline solid with a black or gray color and a metallic sheen. Graphite is commonly used as the active material in negative electrodes mainly because it can reversibly place lithium ions between its many layers. This reversible electrochemical capability is maintained over several thousands of cycles in batteries with optimized electrodes. However, one requirement for this application is that the graphite surface must be compatible with lithium ion battery chemistry, salts, solvents, and binders. While graphite is the material of choice for most anodes, its performance is a limiting factor in making better batteries and expanding their applications. Graphite anodes exhibit only a moderate intrinsic capacity and present serious safety concerns due to lithium plating and further formation of lithium dendrites. Among all potential lithium ion battery anodes, silicon is the most promising candidate to replace graphite due to the fact that it possesses a high gravimetric capacity and volumetric capacity to lithium metal. It exhibits an appropriate discharge voltage, which finds a good balance between retaining reasonable open circuit voltage and avoiding adverse lithium plating processes. Silicon is also abundant, very low cost, environmentally friendly, and non-toxic. Silicon shows promise for building much higher capacity batteries because it's abundant and can absorb much more lithium than graphite. Silicon makes up 27.7% of the Earth's crust by mass and is the second most abundant element, only after oxygen. It does not occur uncombined in nature, but occurs chiefly as oxide, silica, and as silicates. The oxide includes sand, quartz, rock crystal, amethyst, and opal. The silicate forms include asbestos, granite, feldspar, clay, and mica. In order to use silicon in lithium ion anodes, the compound has to be purified and processed into nanoparticles. High purity silicon is produced commercially by reducing sand with carbon in an electric furnace. In the electronics industry, it is prepared by the thermal decomposition of ultra pure trichlorosilane, followed by recrystallization. These current manufacturing methods for silicon metal nanopowders are expensive, not very scalable, and not commercially feasible. A recently proven carbothermic process called the Pure Vap Quartz Reduction Reactor, or QRR for short, has successfully produced and transformed purified quartz into high purity silicon metal in one step. Engineering plans have already been finalized that will upgrade HBQ Silicon's PureVap QRR into a PureVap reactor. The reactor would enable the low-cost transformation of melted silicon metal into spherical nanopowders and nanowires. These spherical silicon metal nanopowders will allow the manufacturing of high-performance lithium-ion batteries using silicon metal anodes. This will be needed to deliver on promises of an almost tenfold increase in the specific capacity of the anode, inducing a 20-40% to 40 gain in the energy density of lithium-ion batteries. By simplifying and standardizing the process used to convert silicon into nano-sized particles, the market potential of silicon anode batteries and the products which could potentially utilize them can be vastly expanded. The latest lithium-ion batteries on the market today are likely to extend charge-to-charge -charge life of phones and electric cars by as much as 40%. 
This leap forward, which comes after more than a decade of incremental improvements, is happening because developers have started working towards replacing the battery's graphite anode with ones made from silicon. If you found this quick insight informative, please consider subscribing below, and as usual, we welcome your comments. Also, head over to pvbuzz.com and join the newsletter to be notified when a new insight becomes available.